Market closes negative with all share index down significantly, 1.27%. Top gainers for today, NEM Insurance PLC, FTN Coco, Honeywell, Fla, UPL, and Benefit. Top losers, we have Boa Foods, NNFM, that's Nigerian, Nigerian uh, Fla Mills, PLC, Seplat, Etana, or Naco. F. Young, this is significant. Tulu, our stock market is bleeding. It is bleeding. Indirect. Se se seriously. The index, 1.57 down, honestly. And you know what? Very big companies are the ones that are down. I should give you names of Boa Foods, Seplat, Boa Cements, Dangote Sugar, Dangote Cements, the heavy ones. Think of Dangote Cements losing over 5% down. Boa Cements, I mean Boa Foods, almost 10%. So a combination of all of these, they, they have weighted down you know, the market very seriously. That's why the market is in the negative one point. Five seven percent. Mm. You know, I had been saying that I expect the market to, you know, show this character for some time to come. Indeed, we are not yet out of the woods. Yeah. You've heard what the aviation expert had said. So if you move away from the aviation sector and then you mirror the larger economy, you still have great negativity. The stock market is part of it, and indeed the market mirrors what goes on in the entire economy. So uh, the market is showing, uh, responding you know, to the negative things that uh, investors are spotting you know, from the economy. And so the respite, we are not holding for now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's wrap it up on that mm. note. Thank you mm. so much, uh, Fengekop. Uh, as usual, <laughs> it's not really looking good. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's see what's happening outside mm. our, our shores. Yes, uh, yes. Because Asian shares are down yeah. for the seventh straight session today after a renewed spike in European energy prices, stock fears of recession and pushed bond yields higher while tipping the euro to a 20-year lows. European stock followed Asian equities trading pattern. Euro stock 50 features and FTSE features were both off around 0.2% after Sliding overnight, benchmark gas prices in European Union surged 13% overnight to a record peak, having doubled in just a month to be 14 times higher than the average of the past decade. Chinese blue chips were up 0.5%, having received only a fleeting lift from the latest policy easing. China's yuan fell to an almost two-year low as MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside Japan dipped 0.9% to hit a one-month low and has fallen every day in the past week. The Nikkei lost 1.3% after a PMI survey showed factory activity in Japan slowed to 19 months low in August amid persistent rises in raw materials and energy costs. S&P 500 features. Nasdaq features both edged 0.1% lower following sharp falls on Monday when rising bond yields undermined tech shares. The Moscow exchange is set to ban the use of dollars as collateral to underwrite transactions in its latest move as Russia seeks to court dependence on currencies of nations that have imposed sanctions on it. A statement posted by, on the exchange website says, the new policy would come into effect uh, next week, Monday, uh, that's August 29th. It gave no further details. Earlier this month, the exchange, the country's largest boss, said it would limit the use of dollars as collateral to 25% from 50%. Russian authorities have voiced concerns about individual and corporate holdings of currencies that it termed unfriendly, calling for their conversations into alternatives. The United States and its allies have imposed several rounds of sanctions, including those targeting the country's largest lenders and Putin, and Putin uh, since Russian forces invaded Ukraine in February. A gas levy on German consumers meant to help utilities cover the cost of replacing Russian supplies could change as soon as uh, this winter. Well, that's the stance of managing director of German gas operator trading hub Europe, Truskin Frank. The trading hub Europe had set the charge, which will be imposed from September, October 1st, 2022 through March 2024 at €2.41 41 cents per kilowatt hour earlier this month. The government wants to spread the cost of levy to all customers to keep Companies liquid enough to maintain an intact gas market. Russia will halt natural gas supplies to Europe for three days at the end of the month, according to energy giant Gazprom on Friday, piling pressure on, continent, on the continent as it seeks to refuel ahead of winter. 
Oil prices on international market rose today as renewed concerns over tight supplies dominated market sentiments after Saudi Arabia warned that the major oil producer could cut output to correct a recent oil price decline. U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude recorded a price surge of 1.22% to hit $91.41. 41, 46 cents per barrel, registering an upward price margin of 1.02 percent. Bonnie Light's performance is trading in the red territory and it's down 3.25 percent, selling at $118.10 per barrel. For the OPEC basket, crude dealers offer $99.66 per barrel, recording an uptick of 1.47 percent.